Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So recently, Destiny 2 had its PC open beta. Finally, PC gamers like myself got to experience, well, the Destiny experience for the first time ever on their preferred platform. I always wanted to play the first Destiny, but again, never came to PC, was always console exclusive, and that always bugged the hell out of me and confused me to no end. Destiny seemed like a game that was almost made for PC. A looter shooter with MMO elements? Competitive multiplayer PvP? Team-oriented and team-focused PvE? I mean, come on, how could the first Destiny not come to PC? But, alas, it never did. But now, Destiny is making a comeback with its sequel, and it's bringing the PC platform along for the ride. So thanks to the Destiny 2 PC beta, I was finally able to see what the big deal with Destiny is. Why do so many people love this game and play it religiously? Yet why do so many people hate this series to such irrational degrees that they stalk it? Despite hating it so much, they can't stop watching or talking about it. So finally being able to play and experience the Destiny experience through the Destiny 2 PC beta, I would finally see which category, which camp I fall into. Am I gonna be one of those people that love it or hate it? Well, I fall into the love it category. I can finally see why so many gamers love Destiny. Just from the taste I was able to get from the Destiny 2 beta. I can understand why a gamer would play this game for hundreds, thousands of hours, for years even. As a first person shooter, the gameplay, the gunplay, the act of shooting, it's a very solid, very responsive, very smooth experience. It reminds me of Titanfall 2 and Doom. While I wouldn't say it's the exact same fun factor as those first person shooters, those two first person shooters are my favorites. It has similar desirable elements to those games. Smooth, responsive controls, a variety of movement and mobility options, satisfying and badass weapons, and in terms of single player and PvE, an awesome variety of cool and fun enemies to fight. And next to that, there's just the artistic beauty of it all. The designers and artists at Bungie, they are to be commended. From the weapons, to the armor, the character models, the enemies, the environments and locations, everything is beautiful, everything is inspired, creative. This wondrous blend of science fiction and fantasy. I can understand someone wanting to get lost in this world, in this universe, but that kind of also leads into why I can understand why some gamers hate Destiny. Because even just from the beta I played of Destiny 2, the Destiny lore, the Destiny story, the Destiny world and universe, it is just brimming with endless potential. Bungie really unleashed their creativity and their imagination with this game. They've made the possibilities almost endless. This is a world of mystery, magic, warring alien races, superpowers, heroes and legends, exploring the stars. Bungie may have bitten off more than they can chew with their vision of destiny. Since this universe has the capability of endless possibilities, it creates for some people lofty expectations. And if those expectations are not met to some people, then the game's just wasted potential. Why stop it being just good? Why stop it being just competent? Why stop there? Why not go further? Why why not let us explore all these worlds? Why not have full dialogue options like in Mass Effect and Deus Ex? Why not have ship-to-ship -ship combat and space battles? Why not this? Why not that? And I find myself asking those same questions, those same requests, just from playing the Destiny 2 beta. The world, the universe, the lore Destiny has presented is just brimming with so much potential. Granted, these are just my observations. I've never played the first Destiny. I can't play the first Destiny. But what little tidbit of content, what taste of Destiny 2 that I got from the beta impressed me greatly. I don't believe Destiny 2 when it finally launches and when I finally play it on PC. I don't believe it to be a revolutionary game. I don't expect it to do something brand new and crazy that changes the industry. And I don't expect it to offer me the whole world. All I'm expecting, all I want is a bit more of what I played in the beta. I want more campaign missions. I want more strikes. I want to explore the farm hub world area, but this time with actual NPCs inhabiting it. I got to experience the base gameplay. I got to play around with the different weapons and classes. 
I liked all of what I played, but I want more. I want to see all the weapons. I want to see all the armor. I want to know how the leveling up and the loot system actually works. I know if you beat a strike, you get some loot at the end. And during my time replaying the strike in the beta, I was able to kill some special enemies that dropped loot chests. And I know you get loot by beating PvP matches, so there seems to be, right off the bat, based on the beta, a variety of ways to gain loot in the game. I like looter shooters. I've always liked looter shooters. I like video games with loot systems, with link lengthy progression systems. I like that constant feeling of satisfaction when I get an item that I want, when I level up. Being able to customize my character to the fullest of my liking. And while elements, while bits and pieces of that were in the Destiny 2 beta, I want more, I want to see more, I want to know what Destiny 2 is all about. And that's a good sign. What I played of Destiny 2 in the PC beta just has me craving more. But more than just gameplay and progression, as someone who enjoys single-player story campaigns, as someone who enjoys lore and fluff in their video games. I'm hoping and I want to see Destiny 2 really take advantage of this beautiful, interesting universe it's created. I want to know more about that giant floating orb, the Traveler. I want to know more about these main characters, your commanding officers, as it were, who give you orders. I want to learn more about these enemy factions. Even though I was never able to play the first Destiny, one major complaint I heard over and over again from critics and those who disliked it was Destiny's lack of story. Now this is just my observation, but it looks like to me, based off just what I saw in the PC beta for Destiny 2, that they might have corrected this? There was quite a bit of dialogue in the single player campaign mission and in the PvE co-op strike that I played. Characters constantly going back and forth, talking about what's happening, as well as some exposition here and there and a bit of world building. Of course, again, as someone who never played the first Destiny, I gotta admit, I was pretty lost when I started playing the Destiny 2 beta. I don't know who these characters are. I don't know what's going on, but I was able to get somewhat of a gist of the situation. However, here's hoping that Destiny 2 has some sort of intro or tutorial that introduces new players to the world of Destiny come Destiny 2. Because as a new player, there's still a lot of questions I have. There's still so much I don't know that I want to explain to me. And while I am extremely grateful for the amount of YouTubers that have dedicated themselves to the lore of Destiny and explaining the lore, I would like it if the game itself gave me the lore and explained what was going on. But once again, we'll have to wait and see. I was very pleased with what I played of Destiny, finally being able to play Destiny through the Destiny 2 PC beta. Gameplay-wise, it was a solid and fun first-person shooter. The visuals, the art is absolutely gorgeous, and the story, the lore, this universe, it's brimming with potential. And I just want more, I wanna see more. And if any piece of media has you craving more, well, it's done something right. But these are just my thoughts, feelings, and opinions. What are yours? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Destiny, Destiny 2. Are you a newbie? Are you a newcomer like me who's playing Destiny via Destiny 2 for the first time? Let me know in the comment section down below. I love reading comments. To get nearly enough comments, please leave a comment. If you like this video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button. And the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with this video. If you hit the like button, if you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, well, there's always Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.